and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Real quick, guys, I forgot my intro. Um, I haven't done this in a while, so let's do it real quick, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, boys. We're so close to 10K subscribers. We're like 300 away, so make sure to smash that button. Turn on the noti bell. Comment down below what you think of anything I say in this video and everything I have. And if you guys have any opinions on coin stacks and how you guys are making coins right now. And also, give this video a big fat thumbs up, boys. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the video. I'm out. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over what you need to be doing with your coins right now, Madden boys. I don't think I've done this for like a week, maybe, but it's about that time. All the Mutt Heroes will have been released by tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. So, we kind of already have a good idea what they all are, and we've already gotten, a lot of you guys have gotten your house rules and your solo challenge reward packs ready. So, most people have, at least some amount of people have gotten to try out all the brand new mud hero card so we already have the essence of what's good what's not what to do so i'm gonna give you guys the last minute things that you need to do prior to this promo ending so you guys can just wrap it up and move on to most feared and be done with it so for the most part guys like i've been telling you about mud heroes mud heroes brought about only a few good usable cards in my opinion well i shouldn't say usable a lot of them are usable but i should say only a few brought about cards that could really make any team only a few of them should be on every team that are they're like they're that good there's only like three or four of them that i really think should be on every team which is why i made the updated rankings video for you guys going over which players you should be picking guys but now that mud heroes is nearing the um, the end of the initial content which should be like the, the the end of the bulk of the promo we might still get a few more limited times which we might be getting today a few more other little things here some packs and some solos but the bulk of the promo will end tomorrow at 10 30 when we get the last bit of the 32 cards which is the bulk of the promo so in my opinion guys i'm gonna go over the little card the cards you want to keep the cards you want to sell to make back some coins gotta fix myself in my chair there and then go over what you should be doing with the coin stack you're gonna acquire from that so first things first guys let's go over to set so i can show you guys a few of the ones that i actually think are worthwhile keeping and tell you who to sell so you guys have joel batonio i think he's a sell Saquon Barkley is one of the four cards I actually think are worth keeping. So if you have Saquon Barkley, you can rock with him. I recommend taking him out of his free, the free pack. Joel Batonio is not good enough at run and um, pass blocking. He's only good at one of them. And so Delaney Walker is okay, but there's so many tight ends. I wouldn't really recommend shelling out all your coins for him. Mike Evans way too slow. Make sure you get your coins back on him if you have him. David DeCastro is one of the few players I recommend you take it from this promo. I actually did indeed buy him. And guys, the point of going over all this is so that you guys can maximize your coin stack and not waste coins on players that I think will get better cards than most feared. Like, let's say you waste your coins on that left guard, Joel Batonio, but I think we'll get a better one or a most feared or a wide receiver, Mike Evans, but we'll probably get a better one in most feared. Trust me, just get your coins back now. Most feared is like, what, two weeks away? Not even two weeks at the most. At the actual most, it'll be two weeks away. So it's definitely going to be before then. And with that, we all know that when that promo comes out, you're going to want your coins. Don't waste your coins now on cards that aren't even better overalls than cards we already have. Next, David Bakhtiari. He's not good enough at run blocking. I think he's a fade. Mitch Morris, again, he's not good enough at either. He's like a decent low-tier pass blocker, decent low-tier run blocker. I have him right now, but I'll probably be selling him. Greg Olson, he's a really good tight end. I really do like him, but I don't think he's anything special. Shannon Sharp's faster than him. Uh, new Kittle will be faster than him if they release New Kittle. So at that point, I think Greg Olson's a good guy to use for now. But I will be selling him in a few days after Weekend League anyways. Jason Witten, way too slow. Don't waste your time. And guys, remember, if you're a theme team or you love these teams, go ahead. But this is for the guys who are just trying to, like me, who just trying to be efficient. We don't build teams just all favorites. We build the teams that are efficient and stat-wise good. But if you guys are theme teams, nothing wrong with Jason Witten. Go take him. Enjoy him on your Cowboys team. Adam Thielen, get rid of him. It's way too slow to be efficient with your coins with. Brandon Cooks, he's really fast right now. He's special right now, but guys, I promise you, like in a week or two, when most fear comes and it's faster, guys, he won't be too special. Our Tory Holt's already faster than him. Don't bother. David Johnson's really good, but I wouldn't bother with him either. If you're going to take a running back out of this promo, you go with Saquon Barkley. Matthew Stafford, again, this quarterback isn't even better, in my opinion, than the Patrick Mahomes superstar we have. And you guys can debate that all you want, but he has build. He's built in. So I wouldn't bother with him. And then defense, Kyle Fuller is one of the few guys that actually say keep. If he's on the right team, like I made this very clear, if he's on the right team with the right chems in the right situation, he is going to be one of the best athletic zone coverage corners in the game if you chem him up properly, and he will be amazing. His man and press are a little low, but his hip power makes up for it in his zone. Just make sure you put him in a lot of his zone heavy schemes, and you're not just manning him up all day. In that case, you want to go with someone else. JJ Watt, not good enough in my opinion. Block shed's too low. DeForest Buckner, he's okay. He's not horrible, but I wouldn't recommend keeping him. Jamal Adams is one of the guys that I think you could keep. The only issue with him is if you have Pat Tillman. If you're nowhere near Pat Tillman and you need a strong safety, by all means, take Jamal Adams. 
But remember, we will get Pat Tillman for free at some point. So unless you're planning to move Jamal Adams to cornerback or uh, sub in Matt Linebacker or something, he's going to be kind of rendered useless once we all get our Tillmans. LaMarcus Joyner is actually really good. I wouldn't recommend keeping him, though, because I feel like he's like a jack of all trades, but he's not like great at anything specifically besides. I think his zone's pretty good, but I wouldn't recommend him. Chris Harris is really good. But at 87, 88 speed, you have to remember that even though he could get to like an 88, 89 powered up, we already have guys that have like 91, 92. So like the next wave of cards are going to greatly surpass Chris Harris. So I'd recommend you wait on that. Xavier Howard, you're going to want to sell off. He's good, but not good enough. And Wagner, I don't think that, I think they did him dirty this year. I don't think he's going to have high enough speed at any point this year to actually be useful when he comes out. So I wouldn't recommend you hold on to Wagner. Matthew Judon's okay, wouldn't recommend him. De'Aaron Payne, again, okay, wouldn't recommend him. And unless you're on a theme team with Chargers, Ingram does become insane on a theme team. But other than that, that kind of applies to all cards. So I wouldn't recommend him. Now, guys, once you have sold your cards, I told you, Saquon Barkley, Jalen Ramsey's one of them, but he wasn't on that list there because he's not out yet. But Jalen Ramsey, Saquon Barkley, DeCastro, Fuller, Jamal Adams, those are like the five guys I highly recommend you actually take a good, strong um, look at and keeping from this promo. I think the other, out of, out of those five cards, the other 28 to 27 cards that I, I don't think you should keep, I think they're all sells. Get your coins back. Because all those coins, you could probably get back, if you sell like three or four of them, you could probably get back like 600k, 700k total worth of coins. And then when most feared comes, you could worry about those cards. Because like I've been saying, this promo didn't increase the overall gap in this game. It just added more to the overall gap and you can see that because they've dropped a lot of cards in the 90 to 91 range all of them were in the 90 to 91 range so a lot of 90 to, 90, 90 to 91s went down tremendously because there's just so many of them there's so many options but the next promo most people bring about like 92s to 93s consistently 90 92 91 93 so that means that the pro the, the, the market's gonna keep going up like the overall gap's gonna keep increasing for the year but here just didn't do that which was kind of a shame because by it not doing that it made a lot of these cards not useful and they didn't give them good enough stats like they can't they made a lot of cards really well rounded to the point where they weren't too great at anything again jalen ramsey is an absolute monster saquon's a mon monster jamal adams is a monster to castro kyle fuller those cards you can keep but guys i'd recommend you pick up your coin stack and then from there if you guys want to wait a little bit you could go play weekend league this weekend you guys want to be getting your house rules and your solo challenges done get your free players and then take your ball and run away that's what i've been saying this whole time get your two free players maybe buy a, a sh maybe buy a cheaper third and that's it i have 1.6 million coins this is my this is my plan here let me give, let me give you guys some in-depth analysis i plan to sell greg olson and sell mitch morse i'll probably get back like 200k and then like 170k so 370 with 370k i will be right over 2 million coins with two i'm gonna take my 2 million most feared i'm gonna wait for the boss sets some limited times Hopefully, I do a boss set where you can get the players back in that. That's what I'm praying for. The new solo challenge there. Or maybe most fear is not. Maybe most fear gives us some free players too then. I want to worry about it. Then I can save my coins more for Thanksgiving and Christmas. But guys, do not. Like I've been saying, do not shell out your cash on Mutt Heroes. It's not worth it. Like I said, besides Ramsey, especially even the other guys. Like I really think Ramsey and Barkley are the ones you should take from your free pack and you can run away and be happy. You really could after that. The Castro was just because he's a 91 right guard. I don't imagine many right guards coming out that consistently, so I don't see him being compete. It's not going to be competed with by many of the cards. But take your coins and run, guys. It is not worth it to heavily invest into mud heroes. My like the players are good, but they're all preference cards. Would I rather have this 90 player than that 90 legend? It's not like oh I need this card because he's the best overall in the game. So I'd recommend you wait. Go get your objectives done. Get some get your trophies up. Start working on John Madden. Do some other things while your coin stack is building. Once your coin stack's all the way up, hold it to most feared. Do not buy the initial day of most feared, guys. That's the biggest advice I can give you for all you who watch today and aren't going to watch then. Don't buy the first day. When most of your first drops, if the pack's coming out heavy and you really see some stamps, fine. But don't start buying cards rapid when it first comes out. Save that coin stack. I will keep you guys updated on this channel daily on when to actually use your coin stack. Do not kill it the first exact second that you can. I anticipate we'll be getting some pretty cool cards most feared. We, we always get guys like Calvin, which we already got. So I don't know. Maybe they'll give us a wide receiver. Guys like Aaron Donald, Khalil Mack, Jimmy Graham. We got Derwin James last year. There's always some really cool cards. Most of it brings about heavy hit powers, heavy speed, high speed, high hit powers, really tall players. It brings about the glitchiest of cards you can imagine at the time. That is why I'm waiting for that. Think about it. Most feared. The scariest cards. That is when you wait for your cards. It's most feared. Mud heroes are cool, but they ain't no most feared. So save up your coin stack, boys. Make sure you're playing your solos and doing your weekend league, or maybe even playing solo battles so you can get as many coins as you can for most feared. You do not want to go into most feared with only 200k. 
Definitely get into your solo battle grind, your weekly grind. I say you want to go into most fear with at least 500k to work with. And then, I mean, preferably, I always like a million coins per promo. But 500k will get the job done if you snipe properly and you wait. And if we get a new currency, guys, it's a whole nother game. If they give us, like, pumpkin currencies or something as a new form for the Halloween promo, it'll be a whole nother game of marketability and things we can do with our coin stack. But for the time being, that is not confirmed. So, as it is, save up 500k to a million coins worth of coin stack for that time being. And you guys just start selling some players. The market is a bit cheaper, so don't sell it to low. Wait till the night time, sell at a proper price. Don't just overdo it and, and spend everything for really cheap because you don't need to do that. You really don't. You can run it, you can take your time on this. You still have another week or so before you really have to go AWOL. But remember, once they do a Madden special stream or something and they release cards from most of you or leak it, then there's no recovery. If you got a guy at that position, he's going down to value, guys. But that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helps you guys with your coin needs, your coin stack, and what you guys plan to do for this upcoming week. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noti bell. We are so close to 10K subscribers, so make sure to smash that sub button, boys. And if you haven't already, comment down below what you'll be doing with your coin stack. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.